Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I'm so excited because today is the first in a three-part series that I'm going to be filming, documenting making a quilt with the help of my Cricut Maker. Um, as you've seen in some of my other Cricut Maker videos, the Maker is fantastic for us uh, fabric crafters because it can cut your fabric for you. Um, I've made everything from a little dog coat having the Cricut Maker cut out the body of the coat for me, um, even to just little basic accessories, and it's been great. But now I'm gonna put the Maker to the test, and I'm gonna have it cut my fabric squares and shapes and whatever I need to make a quilt. If you've ever made a quilt before or ever even looked into making a quilt before, you know one of the most tedious parts of it is cutting the fabric. It is critical that you do a very good job and that it's very accurate and all of that stuff. Um, and it's just, it can be a little bit intimidating. Um, just the quantity of pieces that you have to cut um, and I think the accuracy too just really scares a lot of people away. I have made one quilt before, but it was a part of a class. So I had a teacher there who was helping me, making sure I was getting all my angles right, getting all the triangles cut perfectly. So it wasn't like I was just left to my own devices. I really had a lot of really great help. Um, so I'm hoping that through this process, we will see that the maker makes <laughs> cutting out Quilt projects, super, super simple. Uh, the first part is gonna to be today's video and that is gonna be me just simply walking you through the process of how to use um, Cricut the design, not the machine, but the design space as well as some of their products to assemble everything you need to make your quilt. So the pattern and the fabric for the quilt. Um, thankfully, Cricut has made this super simple. They actually have a partnership with Riley Blake, um, very, very well known in the quilt world, both for really cute and um, durable and quality fabrics, as well as really sweet quilt patterns. So let me show you how to use Design Space to find your quilt pattern, and then how to use Cricut.com to find the fabrics that you're gonna use for your quilt project. Okay, so first things first, you are gonna need to go to Cricut.com which will lead you to their homepage, which looks something like this. Then you're going to click shop. So we are going to look through the quilt kits first. So I am just putting that in the little search bar here and allowing that to pull up the quilt kits. And once you get past these quilt panels, you see that you will find the fabric quilt kits, which coincidentally happen to be on sale right now. Um, so this is gonna be all the fabric that you need to make for this particular size quilt. So you see we have throw size quilts, we have baby size quilts, and yeah, that's it, just the two, throw size and baby size. So you can look through them and pick the one that you like the best. I did not get this one, but I this was a very close, close option for me. I thought that the fabrics in the um, Little Dolly fabric collection were super, super cute. So you'll see like a main picture of all of the fabrics. This is exactly what the quilt kit looks like whenever it's shipped to you. Um, and you'll see they give some suggestions on different quilts that you can make with these fabrics. Look how cute that one is. Um, and varying difficulty. So this is intermediate advanced, um, and they have some beginner intermediate ones as well. So you just have to look through and see which one, um, you know, fits your skill set. Um, we've also got um, little, like, examples of what the fabrics look like. You can also flip through all of these to see what the fabrics look like. Oh my gosh, so cute. Um, you can do that as well. So first things first, 
determine which size quilt you want to make, throw size or baby size. I'm 99% sure they say the final dimensions, or maybe that is in the, um, maybe that's in the pattern. We'll scoot over there and see if we can find that. Waiting for this to load. So this kit contains enough fabric to make one faded memories throw quilt top. So yeah, it doesn't necessarily have the size, but it does have all the fabric um, yardages that you will receive in the kit as well, which should coincide with um, the quilt patterns. So we are now in design.cricut.com, which is design space. Um, this is where I create all my projects. You've probably seen some of these before. And we click new project, we go to projects, and then searching projects, we can search for Riley Blake. And here are all the quilt patterns that you can choose from. You do, again, just wanna make sure that baby quilt um, coincides with a baby quilt kit, and then anything that says throw coincides with a throw sized quilt kit. So you just wanna make sure you are matching those two things up. Um, and then you can pick one that you think you like and you can learn more about it here um, in the product description. This is the finished size that I was talking about earlier and then here are all your fabric requirements which will, let me find a baby one, which will coincide with these kits. Let me find, this is the one I ended up getting, forget me not. So cute, I loved the bright colors and all of the reds and pinks. Okay, so here it says one yard of white, then there are, there's one that has two thirds of a yard, and then a bunch that have a third of a yard. You see that there? And then when you come over here, there's the one yard, the two thirds of a yard, and here are the one third of a yard ones that are there, and then the half a yard even for your binding. So all that's left to purchase after you purchase your, um, pattern, which here are the prices of them, um, and you purchase your quilt uh, fabric kit, you just need to buy the backing, you'd need to buy the batting, and you'd need to buy like extra thread um, to do all of the quilting. But everything else you will have. So you'll end up with a completed uh, quilt top, and you just need the batting to go between, and then the backing that is the back side of the quilt. So they get you 75% of the way there, I feel like. Um, okay, so that's it. You just need to click make it to make your purchase. And then it will, um, you know, get you started on cutting, which we'll go over next week. And then you can add to your cart and make your purchase. And then they'll ship you the fabrics, which I guess took me maybe about a week to get. Um, so, yeah, that's how you purchase your quilt kit. Super simple, lots of really great, cute options. Um, and before I leave the shopping section of Cricut here, I also wanted to point out that they also had, where is, hold on, let me find it. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it in here. Um, it would be cutting mat. Those are the ones for your machine, 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 machine. So, yeah, here are their self-healing mats. Aren't those beautiful? So it looks like this grid on one side, and on the back side they have the roses, this is the one I have with these like doily looking things. They even have this really pretty purple one. So you can grab a self cutting healing, wait, a self healing cutting mat. Um, if you don't have one already, it'll be really great to cut your fabrics down to the size of the mats for your machine. Um, they also have this kit, which I think is awesome. Um, I got myself one of these too that has this um, rotary cutter, which I used earlier today for another project, and it is awesome, like really high quality. There's an itty bitty button 
um, that allows you to lock and unlock the um, safety guard here. But you get this enormous, um, you get this enormous, um, what are they, ruler, like a see-through, I mean, what are these things called? Just a big, gigantic ruler. But I love it because it is so wide and so long um, that it makes cutting down to the, to the mats that you need for the machine super, super simple and quick. And then behind that is the self-healing cutting mat. Here are some product pictures of them using those. Yeah, super cool. Um, I like everything that came in this little kit. So if you want to just get it all in one, Purchase the rotary cutting kit um, and you'll get the three things that you would need to cut your fabrics down to size. Otherwise, you can just get the self-healing mat if you don't have one already um, and that'll help you get that squared away as well. So lots of good options from Cricut. They really are a one-stop shop. Everything you need to make a quilt. Um, so head on over there if you're looking to get started. So there you have it. It's pretty straightforward. Once you get familiar with design space, all of that becomes very intuitive and it's super, super simple. I love how it's already broken down between the sizes of the quilts um, and then you just match up your fabric kit to that. Having all the fabrics already picked out for you is a huge help. Having them already sort of cut down is also a huge help. So I feel like we're off <laughs> to a good start, feeling very confident leading into next week's video. Next week's post is going to be all about using the Cricut Maker machine to cut your fabrics. I'll show you how to lay them out on your cutting mats and how to get everything set up on the back end, on in design space to make sure that all of your cutting is done perfectly and will match up with the uh, pattern once you're done cutting. It may not make sense now, but it'll make sense next week, promise. And then a few weeks after that, I'll post the third video, which will be all about piecing the quilt together. So we'll take a look at the instructions that are provided with the quilt pattern. Um, and I'll show you some basic tips for piecing a quilt together and just generally discuss, you know, following the instructions and, and how simple that is. And at the end of all of that, I will have a quilt. Yay, it's gonna be a cute little baby size quilt. I am super, super excited to make it. I think it's gonna be really, really adorable and I hope that you will follow along with me um, as we embark on this journey together. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Super quick, super simple. Just wanted to show you how easy it was to design your quilt using Cricut's resources. So hope you found that useful. Tune in next week where we'll actually get the machine out and get cutting. Until then, I will see you guys very soon. Bye!